gentlemen. Mission begins in ten Wait seconds. Wait, Five, four, three, two, one. Thanks, mate. The scout and I vibing right now. Hey, come to home with the scout. No way, fire pissing shit out of the place! Yo! Mission begins in 10 seconds. I'm not missing his calm. I'm just missing calm. Forgive me for being an ignorant slut, but h how hard is this map exactly? I have the mental capacity of a goldfish right now. Appreciate it, mate. Thanks, mate. It's not like the mo It's not fucking. Ho uh, is it Hoodoo or Gold Rush? Why are you guys all snipers? That's why. Why aren't you? Because. Appreciate it. You know what? Good fucking question. Why am I playing Spy? I should be playing Sniper. Give me a second. <laughs> spy is for, uh, fucking little sneaky retards, man. I'm trying to shoot some people. I am in New Zealand! Goku's oh, way down yeah. the river and just took me out. Thanks, mate. Uh, Spy Scout above. <laughs> this is working better than it has to. Still got that momentum. Thanks, Mike. Does anybody else also? And you might not actually have this like franchise in your area based on where you live, but Rural King. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that Rural King. Very well. Chef. They sell, uh, they sell little baby chickens there. So I have like every like Never once should. a week. I will take 20 bucks and go buy a bunch of baby chickens from Rural King. And I will take them home in my garage, and I will, I grab a hammer off of my tool shelf, and I'll just fucking pop, I'll just fucking crush, like, like fucking 10 to 15 chickens at a time, and I'll just fucking hammer them. And wow, I have the whole for ten dollars. Yeah, the Rural King thinks That's that like I like raise these fun. chickens and then sell them to like women who uh like I, want chickens on their property like that's the story I gave them why are you smashing chicken chickens with a hammer that just seems cool they're, they're so cheap, cheap uh, they're cheap, cheap. Like, 
Like, like me, think of this, dude. <laughs> I fucking work all week. Like, all I week. Know all week. Chicken, I know that chicken, but I know you. Dude, what the fuck? And my reward for all that labor is, uh, I buy some chickens, dude. Also, did you guys Listen, know dude, if you I go know to the pound, cheap, but you, don't you have can to do adopt that to a them. puppy for free? Like, if you, like, for free. They will let you adopt puppies for free at the fucking pound. Uh, but they won't do it very often. You have to go, like, it's like, it's like a once a year type of thing. Unless you, like, have multiple <laughs> pounds in your area you can go to. And I'll just take that puppy home and put it in my garage and I grab this the same hammer. And they don't ever... <laughs> They don't ever ask where the puppies end up, right? They don't care. They just want to get rid of the puppies. Because they're so, they're like so, uh, you know, money driven. You know, I just get a puppy once a year. I get chickens once a week. Pretty, uh, I'm telling you guys this so you can do it yourself. Thank you. It really, it changes the way that you interact with wildlife. I can imagine it does. Dude, I, I, what the fuck, man? Dude, listen, humans, human beings I, are I meant to, know. to, to I, kill things. We were designed to kill things, and ever I since I started know, killing you? things, I feel a lot better, and I, you know, I fucking, I grind harder. Go I hunting! Go hunting instead of just killing innocent dogs and chickens! I, hey, real quick, real quick, real quick, Clutchman, real quick. How, how close are you to the 25 tack nuke? Have you gotten it yet? Uh, <laughs> I am well beyond 25. Uh, I have at least fucking 10. I have at least 10 nukes if, uh, <laughs> 10 if we're going to get 25 apiece. Rookie number. Alright, so, so you're ready for when PETA comes for you, right? PETA doesn't... The, PETA is happy that these chickens are being raised... Uh, Peter, what, Peter, is, what is what is the term? That I use sometimes I go in there. It's it's like open field grazing or like open graze or whatever. Free roam chickens. They're free roam chickens, uh, really? and I give them to like women that like have like uh, chicken pens on there, you know, and they're like little property, you know. And there's a bunch of women that do it more than you think. So they they totally bought it. They bought that story. Much like the people in my back lawn, they were bought. Oh, so selling people is where we draw the line, but not, not puppy and chick murder. Good to know. Yeah, you're a fucking, Wait, you're a fucking so monster. Wait, so you smash chickens? Like, baby chickens? Like, if you buy, like, 20 at a time, will you smash all 20? Well, yeah, I mean, $20? They sell those chickens for, like, a dollar and 25 cents. <laughs> you can buy those chicks at Rule King for, like, a dollar 20. It might be different based on location-wise, because there's a lot of chicken farms in my area. So, they get a lot of chicks, uh, with 20 bucks, I go home with 20 bucks once a week and I buy all these chicks and I take them home in like a big tote, and, uh, no. they're, no. they actually, they're happy to see me no. when I come in, like I have, like I'm friends with all the employees and stuff, like I have this whole fucking false narrative I tell them, that I spin them. I also pretend that I'm a foster parent for like those, these puppies, so the pound, they love me as well. I am like, in the eyes of all these people, I'm like the model citizen, and they love me. You would be surprised when people think that you're doing things that they really respect, how, how, like, how much trust they'll give you. Like at Real King, I've been in like their employee lounge and like their offices and shit. Like I've seen their, their, uh, you know, their, their dates that they get chickens sent in from like the farms and stuff nearby. Do they like this chicken first pickings? Bags. Yeah, uh, sometimes they actually give me a really big discount and I will get far more than what I normally get because they have so many. Uh, they're just eager, they're eager to get rid of them and put them in a place where they think they're going to have good homes. But in reality, uh, they're going to my garage and I have a hammer. No, no, you must have a Wait, so do you, you said something about giving some chickens to women, is that just like a false narrative that you say? Yeah, that's a complete lie. Uh, the only reason I know about that is because, uh, somebody that I work with, their wife has chickens, and he told me about it. That's how I got the idea, was, uh, this guy telling me about how his wife has chickens, and they raise chickens and such, I was like, you know what? 
I could probably say I do that and no, just buy a bunch of chickens to kill. We lost Girthquake. No. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, Why wait, would anyone want to this Girthquake. incredible conversation? Sorry, I, I I thought Girthquake was on our team. It turns out he was actually working for the communist team. Ah, oh, fuck him, man. Fuck you, Girthquake. He's not on our team anymore. I hope he gets reincarnated as one of the chickens that the clutch and the smash. No, no. Just pretend red team is all the chickens that clutch uh, fucking kills. Oh, they would have more than just nine players if uh, if it were all those chickens. <laughs> I've been at this for years. Do you know how many years I've been doing this? Flying Clutchman, uh, oh, do you do this with cats or no? Uh, no, but I do swerve to hit animals that are on the road when I'm driving around. Actually, I bought a truck simply for this reason. I wanted to be able to hit any animal that was on the road that I had the opportunity to hit. So I bought a big fucking truck and put a, uh, I put a, like, one of those bars on the front of it. I didn't even do anything, I just took it to some dealership and fucking brought, like, bought the part from them. But, uh, my dude is for real playing transit zombies in real life right now. What truck I've do you hitting, have? I've hit a lot of cats. Uh, I've hit, I think at least 20. I've hit at least 20. And a lot of dogs as well. What truck do you have? I have a oh, Ford F-150. Oh, that's a bitch truck. Go get an F-350 Duel if you really want. You get more fucking ammo. Well, it was cheap. It was cheap. Look, it's not actually my main truck. It's my work truck. And I don't actually drive like a... It's not my main truck. It's just a work truck that I own. Uh, Imagine getting I drive a, a I drive a 2021 Challenger. You still paying yeah, off the Challenger? <clears throat> I own it. I bought it cash. Nice. Are you military? So you'll do it to dogs and chickens, but you won't. Oh, you cats. Cats. No, I'm not military oh, though. So what do you what do you do with Man. the chickens when you're done? Do you like sell them to McDonald's? Do you put them in your yard? Like what? I oh. throw them in the <laughs> trash. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. Yeah, truly completing the circle of life. It's, it's basically natural selection. Yeah, I'm yeah he's, he's just doing things. what would happen to them anyway. I mean, I don't get all of them. I just get $20 worth normally. Ah! Have you ever thought about doing this with vegetables to piss off vegans? Yeah, vegetables. Well, no, I'm, I don't do this for any other reason other than self pleasure. Alright, that's it. <laughs> I like murder already. Dude, tell me, uh, let's be honest here. I think you haven't seen like a baby mission. rabbit or something and been like, I just want to fucking crush it, kill it. <laughs> no. No, you've never Did you ever considered doing it? this with raccoons? Well, I've hit, a couple, I've hit a lot of raccoons, actually, uh, in my I truck. I feel like it's less fun when they're able to fight back. Yeah, uh, they're just in, like, a little box, and sometimes, like, I'll crush half of them and then leave the other half alive for, like, 12 hours. No! So they're just, they're just in the box for, like, 12 <laughs> hours with all the other dead chickens that I crush. And no! when I come back, like, they're all terrified and, like, hiding in corners and shit, and they know, like, that their, their sisters and brothers are dead. Uh, and, then it, and then it's really easy to hammer them. <laughs> the sobbing in the background really completes this, I gotta say. Have you ever thought about scaring them to death? <laughs> I mean, one time I took the chickens that I bought and brought home and put them in like a barrel in my backyard and lit like dumped gasoline in there and lit them on fire. I, that's, I'd say that is the extent of the unique things that I've tried. Normally I just stick to the hammer. Uh, the hammer is, is satisfying, it's tried and true. Uh, so I do use my hands sometimes. And it's actually, if you have a baby chicken, imagine this, you have a baby chicken in your hand, and your goal is, is just to kill it, and you just crush it in your fucking hand. It really, like, it really brings into the perspective how strong you really are when this creature that would exist, you just completely fucking destroy it. Hey guys, uh, <laughs> not tell when someone is recording this. <laughs> Please tell me someone's recording this. 
Um, Guys, so what great power do you use? We have all we have all got to go scout, so they won't expect it, and we just push this card at light speed. Yeah, I've been in a couple of YouTube videos. I'm out of shape. I'm actually proud of it. Anytime I get any sort of attention whatsoever, it feeds my ego. I have an endless ego that is only satiated by the death of things that cannot resist me, and uh, the admiration of people who I consider to be worthless. Most human life is expendable. Uh, what brand and of let's, be, let's, let's be honest, most of you guys probably matter. Your lives probably matter. Uh, but people like, think about it. Think about the th hundreds of thousands of people in like shitty third world countries that are highly overpopulated. The, the, their lives are, they literally do not matter. If they died, nothing changes on the world. Literally millions of, millions of people that literally don't matter. Their lives are worthless. And, and it's so, it's so real. Yeah, you know? And once you start crushing does. chickens, man. I feel like you uh, you start to see life differently. You start to uh, really appreciate life because it's like life is so feeble. You know, life is so feeble and fragile. <laughs> all it takes is, is, all it takes is one Clutchman. hammer. All it takes is one Clutchman. hammer. Question, Clutchman. And it's Clutchman. Open. Were you bullied as a child? <laughs> oh, <laughs> and you lack a father figure. No, I, I I was raised by two white rich parents. Uh, and they provided me with everything I could ever possibly desire, I love and more. Oh, this explains a lot. <laughs> well, I mean, you can, infer, you can infer what you want to believe, you know, based on the, the, the say, brother, is it doesn't matter if you're black, white, rich, poor. If you go to Rural King with $20, you can take home a basket of chickens and crush them with a hammer, and it will be the most enlightening thing you've ever done. <laughs> This is you the greatest lobby I've ever been a part of. Clutchman, do you have a significant <laughs> other? Yeah. Yeah, I have a wife. What? Does what? your wife know you do this? What? Uh, no. If she knew that, she would freak out. Because it's, it's totally an abnormal nice, nice. thing to do. But I just don't tell her about it. No, I think this is perfectly normal. You so are she, <laughs> Does she ever question why you bring home twenty dollars worth of chickens every every week? No, uh, we actually work opposing schedules, so I am able to come home from work when she's asleep. So she'll be asleep. I'll get home late, uh, and then I'll just crush those chickens in my garage. And the garage is like my domain. I got a pool table out there. I've got, uh, you know, dartboards, I've got a bar out there, I have multiple fridges filled with beer and liquor and shit. Uh, that's where my weed is, you know, that's, it's, it's perfect. And I've got, like, actually, I've got a favorite corner that I like to put my stuff in, because I, I like to listen to music when I'm crushing them. I listen to Doom music, like, uh, Doom, like Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal soundtrack is my favorite to crush chickens, too. No, I just pretend I'm a demon, honestly. I, I pretend I'm a demon, and they are, uh, they, or like I'm the Doom Slayer, and they're little demons, you know. Either way, either way it works. ask you guys something. My my 16 year old cousin came to visit me the other month and she wanted to suck my dick and I let her do it. Because she asked no. What no. the fuck man? Okay. She, yeah, asked. she asked. Oh, she asked. She asked. She asked. I didn't say anything. anything. I just said well, yes. That's all I did was say yes. And then I didn't move. Mission begins in 10 seconds. Well, I, I just figured I'd ask. Yeah, it was, a, it was immaculate. You could say it was. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, like, how? Like, I'm not gonna ask specifics, but what? Like, at a co like, I'm presume, like, presumably you work at a pretty high level company. Um, like, yeah, what I'm a helicopter position pilot. are you? You're yeah, a fucking a pilot. I fly helicopters for Lifeline uh, at the local hospitals where I live. Like anybody that needs to be lifelined from a hospital to like another hospital in like a big city, I am the pilot that flies them from that hospital to the like the big city hospital. So I've been around, you know. I've I've flown uh, at least all over my, you know, 
area that I live in. I've, I've, I've flown pretty much to every hospital that there is. But yeah, that's what I do. You know, you know what the crazy part about this whole story is? He's had perfect opportunity to like break character at any point and be like, yeah, haha, this was like super funny, but he hasn't this entire time. This this implies there's at least a bit of truth to what he's saying. Question, Clutchman. Uh, it's all true. Do you ever uh, this, question your this morals? Is, you know, some people say therapy is what you need. And I used to be like, man, therapy is some bullshit. I don't, want, I don't need some fucking fag to tell me what my feelings are. I just know. I just know what my feelings are. Listen, listen, listen. No, but here's the thing. You actually, therapy is really great in the sense that when you, when you are not the only one shouldering the burdens of your life, you are able to displace a lot of that emotional pressure because you can lie to yourself and lie to yourself that other people are shouldering the same weight that you are in the sense that they know what you're going through. That's why therapy works. So instead, I just admit everything that I do to random strangers that I come across randomly, randomly. Sometimes when I'm like drinking, like I've, you know, I'm drinking tonight. So yeah, tonight is a... Uh, Pour out all of my life's fucking deepest, darkest secrets onto strangers. And there's nothing they can do about it. They'll never know if it's real or if it's a lie. Uh, they might record it, which would be really funny. Uh, really funny. I would actually love to watch uh, the recordings of, of me telling people these things. So it's, it's just like nothing, nothing can fucking be better for me. You know, just it. It only it just, it just, it just, it just for Dead 2. Do I ever question my morals? I love Left 4 Dead 2, by the way. Beautiful. Glad to see that I have something in common with a literal side. I play Versus with a bunch of my friends all the time. It's great. Really? Yeah, we like have like we have like fucking 20 people that we have pl like we consistently play Left 4 Dead 2. To this day, uh, we just fucking like ping each other. And Hey lads, wanna play uh, Left 4 Dead 2 Versus? And then like 12 dudes react, first come first serve, and we play Versus all the time, it's great. You know who else? Who else? Yeah. My mom. I'm sorry for not carrying this lobby. Uh, normally I carry, I'm pretty good at this game. I have my weapons. <laughs> like what? You're tired of this. I play, they don't uh, call I me the Clutchman for nothing. I, I've earned that moniker. I just hope that if any of you fine gentlemen can learn anything from me today, it's that you should take twenty dollars, go to Rural King, <gasps> no, buy a bunch of chicks, no, take them no. to your garage. Grab a hammer and just pop her. Just pretend you're playing whack a mole, but with chickens. And the best part about it is sometimes you don't kill them in one hit. So it's you're getting even. You're getting even more money out of your dollar. You get multiple hits out of one chicken sometimes. I love when they squirm. Yeah, sometimes I actually uh, this is fu this is really fucked, but it's true. Sometimes I will take a pair of scissors, and baby chicks' legs are like they're weaker than carrots. So you can just scissor, you can just cut their legs off, and just have a like a basket full of twenty chickens with no legs, screaming in agony, and then it makes it even more better to hammer them. Like it just makes it. I don't know. It feels more rewarding when like it goes from your garage goes from a room of chicks screaming in agony to silence after they're all dead. It, uh, it's just I don't know what. I can't explain it. I can't. It's you just have to try it. it it's My favorite truly. Part is how this lobby still thinks he's talking about uh, like you know chickens. In reality, when he says chicks, he means human women. Yeah, what's, what do you think your life expectancy for your wife is? <laughs> oh, a Clutch full life. Well, I don't think you, how much longer do you think you could put up with her? I don't think that I could actually, like, unless it was, you know, in self-defense. Like, let's say I'm, I'm like, buying, you know, I went to a gas station or something and some fucking guy runs in there with a gun. And he puts the gun in my face and he's like, hey, give me your, give me your money, nigga. 
and I'm like, well, I'm like, well, sir, I have a Mac 10 in my pocket, uh, and it's it's illegal, it's automatic. I don't want to use it on you because I will go to federal prison uh, for self-defense. And he's like, fuck you, nigga, give me your cash. I would pull that Mac 10 out of my pocket and kill him. I would shoot him 30 times. Uh, and then I, w I would hold up the gas station for the video camera feed, uh, or in the footage. Whatever, whatever I could do to get that shit gone. So that I don't Average have to go to prison. Average Detroit citizen. Average Detroit citizen. Uh, but yeah, do you guys have no idea how easy it is to get illegal guns. Like, you know how automatics are like illegal in America or whatever? You can fucking make your, like I have an AK that's automatic. I just did it. I just opened up the gun and did it. Like, you you can fucking 3D print the part that you need. I, don't, I know 3D printers are a little fucking hard, but you can get a good, nice 3D printer for like a thousand bucks. Okay. <laughs> and they can't even unless they're shooting the gun. And who's shooting your AK but you? It's just the truth. It's an absolute fact. Truly the strongest TF2 player. <laughs> I... Uh... Uh... I... Clutchman, do you have children? No. I do not. Do you have any pets? You always manage your children to a ball. Yeah, I have a cat. <laughs> and I have a cat that I don't kill. That one cat is the one you spare. Uh, trust me, I've thought about it a lot. It's just that it's not really my cat; it's my wife's cat, and I lied to her and told her that I I lied. When we got together, she's like, "Oh, do you like animals?" Because like you know, when you're like dating a bitch and you gotta make her think that she, that she likes you, you know, you lie to her and tell her that you're things that you're not. She, well, she's like, "Do you like animals?" And I was like, "Yeah, I like cats. I like cats when I hate them. I hate all animals." Where do you do? I I honestly think that we should view all animals equally as resources. They are resources. All of them. Dogs, cats, all- they're just resources for us to use like wood. It's like a tree. Like nobody cares when a tree is cut down, but everybody fucking gets sad and cries when a fucking, you know, the little puppy gets its fucking head crushed by a hammer. Who cares? It's the, it's the same as a tree. You are literally on a computer right now, okay? You are on a computer. Where do you think that computer came from? You think it just magically appeared? They had to kill trees to print the paper to make the blueprints that would eventually end up in a factory where it was mass produced and put into your computer. That's just a fact. So you're cool with trees dying, but not baby chickens? And that's just uh, that's just how I feel about it. The difference is that I understand. I physically uh, yeah. Uh, did you say there. Unabomber manifest manifesto? I think it's a big The Unabomber's manifesto goes hard, man. I fucking read his manifesto like ten times. I think you need a Bible. Thanks, mister. I read a Bible. Uh, it's gay. <laughs> Fuck that shit. <laughs> what, what has God done for you lately, bro? You're sitting here playing TF2, <laughs> fucking worthless, you have no job, you're depressed, you're a fucking loser. And here I am, a real fucking man, telling you how it is, and you're just sitting here listening, accepting what I say is truth. Regardless if it's entertainment to you or not, you're hearing me. I am impressing my beliefs upon you, and you're just allowing me to do it. So what kind of man are you? You're not really a man, you're just a worm, and I'm the bird, and I'm here early. So, there you go, buddy. <laughs> what is this a cult? I guess so, can I join? What is this place? No, it's not a cult, it's just reality. Open your eyes and appreciate it for what it is, man. I t listen, if you want to join this cult, step number one, get 20 bucks. Step number two, go to Rural King. <laughs> step God. number three, buy a bunch of chickens. Step number four, take them to your house. Step number five, crush them with the hammer.
in any capacity. It doesn't matter if it's in private, whatever. Crush them with a hammer, and then think about it. Think about it. Like, after it's Whoa. said and done, like, don't just crush them and be like, ha, 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 ha. No, think about it. Think about what you just did. Think about the power that you exerted on the creatures that can't stop you. You really, it's an epiphany. You know, it's like, Clutch, why? It only shows that you're a pussy because you're not hunting down bigger animals. I mean, you're... So, if I hunt animals, does that make me not a pussy? Because I hunt deer all the time. I'm a hunter. I, hunting season? Hunt deer. Hunt I, I hunt deer. deer. But I mean, is that, a, is that good enough for you? Do I qualify? Yeah, no, no, I, 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 I agree with... Beat up deer in hand-to-hand -hand -hand combat. Right beat a boar in hand-to-hand combat. I have to beat up deer in hand-to-hand combat. Why? Sure, you're a real man. Are you? You're do you telling do that? us you're a real man. You're just, just hand -hand fucking combat? killing little fucking chickens. The little fucking chickens. I don't think you're a man. Chickens for half my life. Uh, you don't fucking deer to death with your bare hands. How do you know? Uh, because I mean, based based on the sound of your voice, I imagine you're you right, are. I don't. <laughs> Listen, I'm not I'm not trying to be disparaging or anything. I just feel like you definitely do not weigh over 120 pounds. You've never been inside of a gym. You've never been inside of a woman. You've never You've never had a job that pays you more than twenty dollars an hour. Your your high school career was fraught with controversy and demeaning actions brought onto you by others not within your control. Your friend group consists of people who are either socially awkward or mentally disabled. In a respectful way, being autistic or having, you know, uh, Asperger's, that's, that's, you know, that's okay. You, you can't help it. That's like being born gay. You can't help it. I guarantee you a gay man is born and the first thing that he sees when he comes out of his mom's vagina is the doctor's crotch and he's going mm, let me get some of that daddy and that's what I was taught and uh, I believe it you know what actually on some real shit gay people they have to love the smell of shit right I mean think about it if your only vessel of interaction with your lover was the poop tube Think about, like, um, uh, imagine the amount of times you've pulled out of your bitch. Instead of pulling out and it's just like droopy, you know, like liquid, it's poop. You have poop on your dick. There's a little bit of poop on there. You start to associate poop with the thing that you like. So, these gay people would be having poop on their dick all the time. They would start to associate poop with their love. And then they start to love poop. So they've got poop on their dick they are enjoying it because that's what they like that's their interest that's the thing that they strive to interact with much when speaking god's Man. truth right now Really so I just, I, no offense to any uh, gay person that might be in here, because that one kid that was talking earlier that sounds like, like he's in high school, he probably is a poop dick don't take it, man. Listen, listen. I, do not, do not take it personally. Do not take it personally, in any regard. My, my, uh, my racism and homophobia. It's not ironic because it's it's legitimate and real. But I have a tempered mind. Okay, I have a tempered mind that lies within reality. I understand that being racist and homophobic, in a controversial yet hilarious manner does also mean that you are legitimately racist and homophobic because finding humor in the peril of other races for the amusement of yourself and your peers is inherently racist and homophobic so i accept that you know i'll i'll, I'll give my, you know i'll give credit to the to the liberals on this one that is true but and this is a big but because it's very important it doesn't change the fact that gay people like poop on their dick and their fingers and on their tongue when they stick their tongue in butthole. And I just want to look at it objectively. I don't want to pretend that uh, there are any barriers here that there aren't. 
Fletchman, I'm gonna say this, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna gather some heat for saying this. It sounds like you speak from experience. Ooh. You got me, bro. You got yeah. me. And hold on, hold on. Let me, let me clarify real quick. Let me clarify real quick. I have never fucked a man, and I never would, because I find it repulsive and degenerate. Right. But I have done anal with my girl. So, I speak from experience in the sense that I didn't exactly have a dollop of male shit on my cock, but the, the, the asshole is not a place that it is meant for man to go. It just isn't. It's like, it's like an inhospitable world. It's, uh, it's not, it's not a place that you should find comfort in. It's a place that you should expel your fucking waste that you fucking consume. And that is just, that's just what I believe. Some dudes like it. Some dudes fuck their chick in the ass and they're like, mm, yeah, anal, yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not gay. I'm definitely not a poop dick fucking fag. I'm definitely not a fucking fag. But, I mean, let's be honest here. Uh, you know, that's probably not the case. And especially because they said it out loud, I'm not a fag, multiple times. That makes me suspicious that they, uh, might be a fag and might be a poop dick. Uh, I fucked my bitch in the ass, was not a fan. Not to say she was dirty, because I don't fuck pretty bitches, because I'm so high class and high quality, uh, you know, I won't accept it. I find dirty bitches repulsive. Uh, you know. So no. No. I am speaking from experience, but marginally. Marginally. So you're not going to catch any heat. I'm just glad that I could be enlightening to the reality of the experience that I'm speaking from. Because how are you going to listen to me and take the things that I say at face value if I'm not going to offer you the basis of construction from which my beliefs arose? I'm going to be very sad when this game ends. I am too. This is This has been like Experience you guys, you guys are among the songs. first people in TF2 that I've I've been able to share my beliefs with, and then immediately kick me. Hey, mama. Yeah, uh, most pe most people just hear me talk and say the my just, beginning just part the about the chickens, and they kick um, me. They're like, "Get this fucking retard out of here!" I am so insecure that I can't be exposed to other people's beliefs and ideologies, and uh. You know, when most of the lobby agrees with that pathetic, cowardice idiom, they back, you know, they backpedal from their human instinct and allow themselves to be controlled like sheep, and they hit F1 and cast me out into the abyss. We could form a religion out of this. No, let's go. I bet go. you get followers too. I mean, think about it. What have human beings been accountable for over the last 16,000 years of their, you know, of their semi-sentient existence? Nothing. They've been accountable for nothing up until, like, around 200 years ago. Up until around 200 years ago, there became a filter. And sure, during the like the medieval times or ancient times or whatever, like the Romans and whatnot, there was a there was accountability. But if I, as a man, decided that I was going to slaughter all of my chickens and kill them for no reason, nobody said a word. I was just free to do with my property as I wish because that's what it was, property. It was property. And everyone recognized that because they didn't pretend that animals had any intrinsic value to the earth. They have resource value to humans. That is why we should keep humans, or not humans, but animals alive. It's because they're a resource. And the same way that oil is a resource that powers our cars that we take to work and shit. Like, that's what they should... Animals should be treated like oil. Okay, that's, that's the end of it. Uh, something that I, I actually saw again recently, I don't know if you guys saw this TV show as well, but Tiger King. 
I don't know if you guys saw this on Netflix. It was kind of a hit back when the fake pandemic started. By the way, fake pandemic. It was all fake. Completely fake. And uh, take a look outside to see the fucking proof. Uh, completely fake pandemic that wasn't even real. Never happened. Uh, the Tiger King came out when everyone was forced to be inside or be given fines and arrested. Uh, you know, that fucking show really opened my eyes to like what animals go through. And at the end of it, you know, most people are like, oh, those poor tigers, oh, those poor... I wasn't thinking about the tigers, right? I'm thinking about these people. These people are... are the, the absolute worst bottom-of-the-barrel fucking degenerate scum, you know, subhumans that exist. I think, personally, that living in America should come at a cost. You should have some sort of objective value to the country. It's called taxes. Otherwise, you get deported. Taxes aren't enough. They're not enough. Too many, there are too many undesirables. Think about the millions of people in, in every single city that don't work, that do nothing but feed on our resources. They feed and reproduce and do drugs and crime. And that's all, that's their entire purpose is to, to be un under the influence of some illegal illicit drug. Recreate and create multiple offspring. And then persist on nothing but the bare minimum scraps of society for a hundred years. They, their generation will last guaranteed at least a hundred years. And they will do nothing but feed on us. And as a first world country, I think that we need to protect our first world country status. So if there's ever if there's ever anybody running for legislation that actually has any sort of grounding, it's not some libertarian fucking retard, you know, or some fucking liberal cuck who wants to exterminate people or eject them from the country, you can bet I will be voting for that guy. I liked Donald Trump because he wanted to get all the fucking illegal Mexicans out of here. I agree. Get them the fuck out. They are eating our resources. America should be self-sufficient. We shouldn't need all these other countries to, to be able to exist. And we don't, actually. We could totally be self-sufficient self from top to bottom. There's nothing that anybody could do to stop us from it either. We just have to decide to do it. Except we have all these greedy Jew politicians in power. And they want to keep their boot on America's neck. So they will. And the only boot on America's neck is our currency, which is currently being fed to the Chinese and all of our allies, as if it was candy would, to a baby. I would actually, I would actually argue that our currency is being fed currently to rule king for those chickens. Twenty dollars of it once a yes, week. Because he has all of it. He has all of it. Dude, I. He's he's the top one percent in America right now, and he's spending it on his chickens. Just Twenty dollars of it, at least. I mean, I have I have four hundred acres that I own. You know, uh, I also have two businesses that I own. It makes it Let me guess. You're a resident of Mobile, Alba Alabama. Fuck, holy shit! I can't speak. Yeah. No, I don't live in Alabama. I'll tell you that much. I won't tell you too much because. Uh, just like Andrew Tate, the the Matrix is out to destroy me and my fortunes. So. Fucking knew it. This guy is from Illinois. It makes yeah. a lot of sense now. Hey, weed's legal. It's legal. And guess what? Chickens are legal as well. I was actually born in Chicago. I grew up in Chicago. How do you think I uh, got so well in tuned with the criminal side of society? I didn't actually appreciate, you know, all of the things that they had going on. But now I do. I see it now. Red spy disguised as a blue spy. Dang. Well, I'll be honest, I'm gonna miss you guys. I hope that something I, I said too. mattered. Clutchman, Good luck and Godspeed to you if you're experience. white, but if you're not white, go fuck yourself. Average CF2 player.